Welcome to the Nativo Cholom Shir. Uh, I'm going to dedicate this Shir in the memory of uh, my father, Rav Shalom, Rav Chaim Rav Yosef Yitzchak, whose yurt site is uh, Rosh Chodesh Av, and is coming Thursday night and Friday. May the, uh, the learning that we all do be as chut and give my aliyah and neshama. May his neshama have talk- Amen. Amen. So I'm going to start uh, with the last, the last piece of the previous Nativa Chalm, which you see on the screen. Uh, it's part of Mars, Masai, but uh, the, the subject for this, this learning is Galut, Exile, and, and Refuge. And we're going to talk about, you know, we're we're, we're, try, we're trying to end the galut. We're in the the three weeks before Tisha B'av. Uh, now it's even closer. And you know, what does all that mean? What, else, what does all this pain mean to us? At the same time, this parsha also talks about the cities of refuge, where uh, somebody who inadvertently killed somebody b'shogeg. Uh, unintentionally uh, is told to flee to these cities of refuge, which were cities owned by the, uh, given to the Levium. There were six of them. Uh, and he's fleeing so that the, the Goel Hadam, the relative who might want to avenge their relative's death, can't, uh, can't get him. And if he gets into that city, uh, he's safe. So I'm going to start First of all, with the previous, uh, where it says right here, I don't know if you can see my marker, that's where the first full paragraph at the top of the page begins. It says, The Torah teaches us on all of the exiles. And we know we've had a lot of exiles. We happen to be in the, the longest one right now, but the Torah teaches about a lot of them. All the, the lengthy exile. At sorrows by the sorrowing, the problem, the problem is the difficulties. Shehudim Obrim Hakol that the Jews have gone through. What's the purpose? Ukedei lahaviyam likrat hatov hagula. The purpose of it is to help to bring the Jew closer to the good and the exile. Chavush Peres Tzadikim, as Sefer Barakasavit says in Tehillim, as we say. In Shira Malos before we bench on, on Shabbos. Uh, when God returns, the, the, the captives of, of Zion will be like dreamers. When the complete redemption comes, will be like Yosef, the person who was a dreamer. At the time that he went through all this difficulty where his brothers sold him and the, the difficulties that he had in Egypt, he sat many years in jail. It's hard to understand how a tzaddik, the foundational tzaddik of Yosef, Yosef a tzaddik, could be going through all these things. How could he get through these things? But afterwards, Kasher Higia El Amalchus, when he reached the position of, of uh, almost the ruler, in essence, the ruler of Egypt, second only to Pharaoh. And the whole salvation of B'nai Yisrael occurred through his hand. Then this barrier of Enigla was clear and revealed. Laying call to everybody, everybody's eye. Everybody could see it. Through all the difficulties, all the pains and the, the, the troubles that he went through, it wasn't possible for there to be missing one part of that trouble that he went through. 
שכולם היו כדי להביא את אל הגדול הזאת. אז כל אחד מהם הגיעו כדי להביא אותם ‫לאולטימט רידמשן, ‫לאולטימט גרייטנס, ‫אינדינג אפ בין בני ישראל ‫לאיבינג מצרים, ‫אינדינג אפ בין בני ישראל ‫קרוסינג ים סוף, ‫גנדינג הסרט הדיברות, ‫אינדינג העם נבחר, ‫שוזן פיפל בגן. ‫כמו קוסם את זה, ‫שוב השם השיר השיר ‫הגן רטורנס לקפטיבס אוף זיין, ‫יש בור ויש גלל, ‫זה יהיה... clear and reveal to call a goal Haruha Soros by Surim Shavi Israel everything that all the difficulties that the Israel went through the Hall Hadama Yehudi Ishmael Haladoros all the blood of the Jews that were spilled throughout the generations by Diane Ishmael that are still being spilled of Kol Hoi Kedei Lahavi Likra Na Tov Agula everything was to bring us closer to the good and the redemption וכבוד שישראל עברו במדבר, בין בית מסוס, ארבעים ושניים מסוס, just as the children of Israel went through 42 journeys in the midbar, in the desert, עד בואם אל ארץ תושבס אותו היא came to the land they would dwell in, the land of Israel, כמו כן, similarly, בכל תקופת אריכות הגולות, in every lengthy exile, צריכים ישראל לעבור Masoz Harbei, the Jewish people have to go through many, many journeys. Shukula lahofi likrat hatikun agomer vagula shlema. We have to realize that all of these journeys, all of the tests that we have, all that we go through are totally to bring us to the complete redemption. Mazep Perush, and this is what is said when we say, Mizmor shir liyom ha-shabbos tov l'horas l'ashem. A song of the Shabbos day, we say this on Friday night in the Davani, Tov l'hodos l'ashem, it is good to give thanks to God. Shaperush Bazer, we explain this, Chazal, Chazal explains it, Tekoil halagula haitida, this is referring to the future redemption. And what is the future redemption? Leyom shakulo Shabbos, when every day will be like Shabbos. Shabbos hagula, At the time of the redemption, Oz Yomer, then we will say, Tov lahodos lahashem, it is good to thank Hashem, ulezamer lashim chalyon, to sing to his great name, kisi machtani Hashem before Alecha, because God has made me joyous with his work, umasi yadecha aranein, I will be joyful with the works of God, magadlu masecho Hashem, how great are your works, O God, and so on. כי אז יספור, that will be revealed. שכל ההגס הבורא והגלוס הרוחה של ישראל, that everything that בני ישראל, all the lengthy exiles, all the difficulties we've gone through, שכל ההגס הבורא והגלוס הרוחה של אורי ישראל, הכל היה כדי להביאם לקראת הגולה, all of it was to bring us to this redemption. שצדי כתומר יפרח, שצדי, a righteous person grows like the like the date tree. Ke'erez balvara yizkeh, he grows as strong as the cedar in Lebanon. Zel perush, that's what it means. Lahagi baboker chazdecha, to say your your praises in the morning. Chaz ve'emunas chavaleilos, and your your emuna, your faith at night. What does that mean? She baboker b'shash she yizrach or hagula, the morning, when the light of redemption is shining. Yiru, we will see, v'yagidu kulam, everybody will say, shakal ha-tlois chayu chesed v'ashem yisbolach, that all of the difficulties you've gone through were really the kindness of Hashem. We just don't understand that, we have no clue. But this is what, this is what, what we know. David HaMelech said it, we know that Hashem created a world of goodness, and that everything he does is for our good, even though it may be painful, we don't read understand the reasons for it. Ula v'lohobi l'hamshi chaser zeh, chesed zeh, ayde v'mas chava leilos. But it also continues, you have to realize this chesed, this kindness, also comes out about with, with the uh, emunah at night. 
הנה כל החמונה שישרה מאמינים בלילות. The power of Amuna, of, of, of belief in God, that Israel Mamirim Baleilos Beis Chashecho, that the Jews believe, have Amuna uh, in the time of darkness of, of, of the Golo Tzaruch, of the great, the long exile. If they have Amuna, she called Tachlis Hayisuri Vatsoros, and all of the, the whole purpose of all these pains and difficulties. Are for the purpose of bringing us to see the good, to meet the good, and the final tikkun, the final uh, redemption, the final repair. Like the 42 journeys that the Vedayasra went through in the desert, they, they were all to make us ready, to make us kosher, so to speak. To prepare lahaviyam el agula to to bring us to the redemption to the redemption chenisa ki haaretz and to go into Eretz Yisrael. So that's that that's the the just a few lines of how we have to realize that despite all the difficulties that we we go through, that all is for our good, and we'll see that at the end. Uh, a famous saying that I, I like to always think of as by the Kedushas Levi, Reb Levi Yitzchak Bardishev, who said something like, I'm, I'm sort of paraphrasing because I don't have the, the words in front of me, Lepami nira shaloto. There are times that things look like they're not good. Aval basof, kashanigla hadavar. In the end, when things are revealed, nira shakolto, we will see that everything was good. And that's that's a very important message. But in the meantime, under, even though we're, we're understanding that it's all going to be good, do we need some refuge to run to, uh, to keep us in the meantime, to save us, to get us closer to God? So that's the next portion, portion of the, the Tivo Shalom. Ari Miklat, the, the uh, cities of refuge. And he says as follows, the cities that, that will be given to the Levim, the six cities of, of refuge, where the killer will be able to run there. Before asks, why are we putting these cities of refuge in the cities of the Levim? And why them specifically and nobody, nowhere else? We also have to understand what our sages say, which says further, he will run there. Referring to the murderer, uh, the innocent murderer, the person who's killed somebody in act by accident. That will be your house. Sham Tami Saso, that's where you're gonna die. Sham Taikuraso, you're gonna be buried there. So Akbir, he says, you have to understand, Maha Inyan Shikuru, Dafka Sham or Ali, what what is it telling us that he should be killed there, uh, buried there in the in the in the cities of Levium? Are Inyan Ari Miklat who be equal had seal me with the goal had done the whole purpose of the cities of refuge is to be able to save him. From the, the blood redeemer, the blood relative who wants to kill him for killing his relative. So they shouldn't kill him. Once he's dead, they can't kill him again. What does it have to do with that? So why, why does he have to be buried there? So we have to understand the law of somebody who kills somebody by accident. To Run that the 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 Rotseach, the killer has to run there, has to go flee there. Asher Yurtzach as who somebody who's who uh, defines what this killer is, somebody who kills his friend, another person, but lidas unintentionally. Vehulo shana lo mitmol shosham. He didn't have any animosity towards this person 
yesterday or the day before. Well, the Churu specifically, if he didn't hate him, the Horgo of Lidas, and he killed him unintentionally, and he asked a very critical question. If this is unintentionally, and he was totally innocent, it was just an accident, why is he called a murderer? What's saying as a murderer? Think of a murderer, we don't think of a murderer, a murderer who did something by accident. It's an intentional act. Why is it used that language? A murderer, let's say. Yesh lom red, you know, the Rambam, the Rambam says, Mori Devachim, Amovi Bisod Havoda, he says, Shabashash Yehudi Davuk Pashem. When a Jew is close to God, cleaves to God, has this connection with God, Yesh Alav Shemira El Yona. There is a higher guarding, guarding of this person. Lo yana lo kalra, and any bad thing cannot happen to him. Rak imafsik madvekus pasham, only if he stops this closeness to God, az nitlat himeru hashmira vashkocha yana. If he stops that connection, even for a moment between him and God, Sever that connection, then the the higher uh, security, the life insurance policy that he has, so to speak, the the Shmir el Yona, the uh, guardian from above and watching over him, goes away. It's gone. The attacking shiakoralo kalmini makoramaim, and then all kinds of bad things. Can happen to can happen to him. But Nimtza, and it, it, it happens that she call hamikrim hanif goyim haroim shikorim laadam. All the bad things that happen to a person. Uh, I just have to interject, <laughs> just off off uh, it's on the topic, but as an aside, <laughs> I've had this ongoing discussion with a friend of mine here in Efrat for twenty eight years now. Uh, when he asks me. How I am? I says, Baruch Hashem. And he says, again, he says, how are you? I says, Baruch Hashem Tov. Oh, but he didn't say Tov. I said, well, there is no Ra. So he says, I, I said, there is no Ra, there is no evil. He said, what are you talking about? The mission before says, like we bless the good, we have to bless the bad. And my take on it is it's Nira Ra. Things look like they're bad. So I would, you know, if I had my power to amend the Mishnah, I, I would I would have it read, Shem Shem al Hato, Shem al Nira Ra. It's something that looks like it's evil. That's my own, <laughs> my own interpretation. I don't have the ability to amend any Mishnah, but that's my thought about it. So when we we talk about Ra in this in this context or any context. Uh, I'm really talking about something that looks bad, feels bad. Bottom line, nothing is bad uh, that that Hashem gives to us. So anyway, with that little caveat, let me continue. But if such call me from if I'm around to call him Adam, and rock the ace to who lived out. I lost part of the two words here. One second. Let's move it over a little bit. There we go. That only happens when he leaves, when he separates himself from God. Then there's no higher guarding. That's what it means somebody who kills uh, his neighbor without intention. What is the das? What is das? Das knowledge is. Uh, intention, knowledge is in Yano de Vekus, Kavodamar of Adam Yada. Das refers to knowledge of God or to knowledge of something. It says Adam knew his wife. It means he he had a cleaving together with his wife. This person who kills somebody else, he must have done it without Das without knowledge. 
because he has separated himself, he stopped the connection between him and Hashem. And that caused this thing to happen. Another way of saying it is that it would have, it would not have, it would have happened except for the fact that he had this extra protection keeping it from happening to him. Whatever happened had to happen to the person, but he didn't necessarily have to be the shliach to do it. But what made him the shliach to do it was stepping away from this Vekus Hashem. Kikashi Yensha Yehudi Shmira Yona when. A Jew has this higher uh, protection. Nothing can happen. This can't happen. You can't help in that, that you're going to kill somebody else. Only because you don't have the, the dust and closeness to Hashem. Hashem. You stopped its connection with Hashem. And you don't have then this higher protection, then then things, bad things are likely to happen to you, are able to happen to you. It's not a given, but it's, you're leaving yourself without protection. And what's the, why is the, 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 recommendation to go to the city of, of the Levites. Adas, uh, the classic said, he says, Chazal say, a person should tell his troubles to many people. And the Rabbim, these many people that he tells it to, ask Rachmim for him. The low namar doesn't say Ravim Yivakshu Allah Rahmim. Doesn't say that many people will ask Rahmim for him. Elamavakshim Allah Rahmim, but they're asking right now, mercy on him. What does that mean? Yehudi Kasher Dabuk Bashem. If a Jew is connected to Hashem, La Yochol Lavo Allah Shum Tsar, no pain can come to him. That's what it means. Tell your troubles to the to the many. The many refers to the many who are believers in Hashem, who are close to Hashem. When you connect with the people who are close to Hashem, uh, then you're connecting to Hashem. And then, and then the uh, the, the multitude will ask, not will, are asking mercy upon him. Rachmim, Hainu Devekus. Rachmim means connection to God, closeness to God. Haideshu Dovuk Aleyam Shuv, since he has uh, come close to them, cleave to them, and he's Rikim Levaki Shalav Rachmim. You don't have to ask mercy from them. Because they will, they will know they're they're connected to God. They will understand. I you also be called to us. They're be careful to be able to get out of all these troubles. The harabim, the power of the many, hadvukim Hashem, who are connected to God. When you you tell them, uh, you tell them about your troubles, then this this higher Hashmira, since they're connected to God, is already upon them. Even though you yourself aren't, therefore this tsar happened to you, this problem happened to you, but you're going to people who are connected to Hashem, so they're their protection will, will come upon you. And this is how we can understand uh, when a person killed somebody without, without intent, without knowledge. He stopped 
connection with with God is not take Hashem Yisborach and he cut himself off from God. We may let this galgal the Lerotzuach Esrael, and therefore because of that, he's in a position where he could fall so low as to have it, as to killing his friend. So of Atikon Avoro Shiyanus Lorialvin. Only once he's done that, the only solution for him is to run to the to the cities of the Levim and the Levites. Shevat Levi him a Shevat Adruki Vashem Yisporach. We said a minute ago, tell your tsar to the to the many because they're close to God. The whole tribe of the Levim. Uh, were close to God. That was their that was their job. They were always they're all double. The visa of the Torah. So almost it says Shashem Levi, the name Levi. What does that mean? Who Veloshul Yalava Ish. Yalava Ishi I know she will nilva muhubala shabispora. Means that he will it will accompany it will accompany a person uh and be be able to connect to God. Kamosha calls him Rambam as the Rambam says Shashavit Levi, Aim Chayel Hashem. The tribe of Levi is, are the soldiers of God. Shakarish Baruch Omer Lehem, God says to them, Ani Chalkacha, I am your Chalek, your part, Benachlascha, and your inheritance. Shatomin Haim Mufroshim Labodas Hashem. They were always singled out to serve God. Udvukim Tomi Vashem Yisporach, and to constantly Cleaving to God, the kibbutz should double the vekim by the vekim by Shem, since they are cleaving to God. Then shorim ala brachim, the whole group, levim, by virtue of what they are doing, they always have brachim um, and protection from above. Uchein the eve the sefer achinuch as it says in Arya Levim, it says kishemet levi. The tribe of Levi is the chosen of all the tribes. God chose them above all the other tribes of Israel. And it's appropriate that they should serve God. They have no separate portion with the rest of the tribes. Because by virtue of what they're doing, their closeness to Hashem, they they really don't care much about things in this world, material things. Their cities, the uh, way. It could be, it's as it says, their cities shall be. A city to dwell in, or a city of Shabbos, a city where every day is Shabbos. How can Yesh Kedusha Barayim if every day is Shabbos? What do we say? Shabbos Kodesh. Every day is holy. Yesh Kedusha Barayim. Lachain, you know Shamarotzeach. Therefore, the the killer runs there. Shlis Chaper Alavono. He will gain atonement of his sin through this holy ground and their holiness. You have to also explain this up the over when we find with these cities of refuge, who be Dabek Alehem cleaving to them, or is that Ari Mikla Lanu Shama these are cities of refuge where every murderer can run. Sha'af imi not take by Shem Yisporach, even though this murderer obviously to get in that position separate his relationship with God, even though that happened, he can return again to have a close relationship with God. Balkane, therefore, Shamte di Rosso. That shall be his living place, that city. Shamte Misoso, that's where he shall die. Shamte Kivaraso, that's where he shall be buried. Ki Afpam Osrilo Lehefi Pare Mishemat Levi. Because once he's gotten there and reestablished his connection with God, 
he can never separate himself from the tribe of Levi. This is the whole purpose of a sacrifice that people bring for a sin that they've done unintentionally. A Jew who stumbles and, and violates something unintentionally. It's not only killing somebody, but whenever you cut off the, the closeness that you have between yourself and Hashem, that's what can happen. Once, whenever a Jew is connected to God, there's a higher guarding of his soul and his, his body. And uh, there is no uh, sin that happens through him. I'm just reminded of a, of a story in the, uh, in the old country in the winter months. In this one little stable, there was a mikveh at the bottom of a hill. And the hill was very, very icy. And everybody's going down to the mikveh and slipping. And this one Rebbe walks down perfectly. There's no help, just walks down, walks up, doesn't slip. Ask them, what happened? Why didn't you slip? He says, if you're connected from above, you cannot slip from below. You cannot fall from below. And that's the concept of what this is talking about. Kedisa Maral, as Maral says, she korban yano hikarbut. The whole purpose of a sacrifice is the aspect of getting close to God. Is that called Seder HaKorban, the whole Order of a sacrifice. Person has to pour out his heart like water, confessing his sins, apologizing to God, trying to get close. Till his his tears appear on the on the mizbeach itself, on the altar itself, he's chaperlo and he's forgiven. Because then. He will have returned once again to have a relationship with the Vekul with God. And once that happens, his higher protection returns. Now, this is an interpretation that they're giving on the reason it says the six. Six cities of refuge to which this person should run. The Sheish Ori Miklat. What are these six Ori Miklat? What does it hint at? And Sheish Hatevos Beposu Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Elchad. It's a hint at the six words of that Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. A Jew has strong amuna, strong belief, strong faith. That God is our God, God is one. This is a refuge. That everybody, every killer can run to. I feel in of our al haveros achomeros biyotar. Even if he's done the worst things. And he's going to explain in just a moment that the, the, the um, well, just stay tuned. Further explain, faith in God is cleaving to God. And then the, the power of, of your amuna is the ore miklat. By Israel, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Shabakoch behiro tamuna from the clarity of your amuna, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Mi ashuv devok b'Hashem Yisporach. This will get you again closer to God. Vezemetz matzilu miad goel hadam amavakesh lahorgo, and that will save you from the 
Goel Hadam, the relative of the person that was killed. What is that reference to? Goel Hadam is a reference to Hayetzer Hora. A reference to Hayetzer Hora. When you have this Amuna, total Amuna in Hashem, when you're going to this Ori Miklat, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elkein Hashem Echad, you will be saved from the Yetzir Hora. The negative impulses that want to lead you astray. Amishtalit ala adam ve'esh hu menutak Hashem Yisporach. That comes upon a person only when they are disconnected. The connection is severed from God. This is also the power of Shabbos. Omer Chazal, call a Shomer Shabbos kill Chasa, whoever observes Shabbos according to the Halacha. I feel Omer about a Zora Kador Enosh Malkulo, even if he was an idol worshiper like the, the generation of Enosh, he will be forgiven. I feel Shabbat Azak Kador Enosh will be amazing, even if he did it intentionally. I'm sorry, I feel the show of the Zohar, even if he did his idol worship like the, the generation of Enosh intentionally, Afal became mochli lo, they would nonetheless forgive him. Kilin Shashomer Shabbos Kilachos because he's keeping Shabbos according to how it should be kept. Ki Shabbos Kodesh, the holy Shabbos, he makor hadvekos Pashem. That is the, the foundation of being cleaving to Hashem of the connection to God. For the Kosev, as it says, Yisrael Between me and Bnei Yisrael, Shabbos will be a sign forever. Remember Chazal, and Chazal said, the sages say, Knesset Yisrael, he ben Zubchar. The people of Israel, children of Israel, are the, the marriage partner of God. Holy Shabbos is the aspect of a marital relationship and being close. We have the Jewish people being close to God. The Zewa therefore calls Shomer Shabbos Kilchos, whoever observes Shabbos according to its halacha. I know Shishav the Shabbos Kodesh, meaning that he, he returns on Shabbos and will return on Shabbos. Liot Davok by Shami to become again have Dvekus with her, with God. And on Shabbos, the very fact of Shabbos club, he's keeping it properly, it will lead him to that state of cleaving to God. A few of Kedar, Enosh, even if he idol did idol worship like the generation of Enosh, and this Rachi called Kachma Shami that was so far removed from God, nonetheless. If he is, whatever he's done is removed him from God, if he comes into Shabbos with the right attitude and, and makes Shabbos, makes it special, not just keep Shabbos, but makes Shabbos a special day, not just, not just refraining from doing the negative things, but actually making it a true Shabbos. Mochi Lobakovadush is Shabbos. He'll be forgiven because of the holiness of Shabbos. And also during any, all of the days of the week, he won't, even though he's not able to come to the Vekos Hashem, to the his closeness to Hashem, but the Shabbos Kodesh Choser Leos Double Mishorish, even if it falls apart during the week, and you're not able to reach the level that you want to get to in, in Avodas Hashem and Amudas Hashem. Shabbos will return you to that to that root of Amun and Hashem and the Vekut in Hashem. All right, that's that's the cities of refuge. We all have, uh, we all need from time to time a refuge from the storms around us. That's a pretty good advice for a refuge. Uh, before I stop the recording, does anybody have any comments? Okay, hold on, I'm going to stop it. <laughs>